Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a new overlay and it's called head to head. Now it might remind you to a very similar overlay that we had before and that's called BattleBot, but we sort of rethought the whole concept and we thought we can do something much better, something more easier to understand and something more easier for your eyes. So there we go, there is the new overlay head to head and let's see what this can do. So what can this overlay do for you? First let's see what the different components are on this overlay and then maybe we can have a, a better grasp on what information we can actually get from this. So let's see the different parts of it. Obviously we have a title, we have a middle body which is going to show you the sector times and we have a last part which I call it the last lap time info box. So starting from the sector times we can see three different drivers on this overlay so the middle driver is always you and then the guy who is ahead of you is on top of the overlay the guy who is behind you is on the bottom of the overlay now you can see the sector times and you have to realize that these are not exact sector times this is not the amount of time it took you to finish a sector this is only the difference between what the opponent did and what you did. So in this example the first sector is 0.5 second. It means that we were slower by 0.5 second in the first sector compared to the guy ahead of us. And you know red means slower, green means you were faster. And it's always you. It's not about the opponent. It's always about you. If you see a red that means you're slower. If it's green it means you are faster. So following the example we were faster by 0.4 second compared to P3 and if we go on the on the bottom part of this it's the same story we were 1.3 second faster in the first sector compared to Diego and 0.8 second faster in the second compared to Diego so these are all really just showing the difference between the sector times right so next we should look at the the arrows so we see some sort of uh, progress going through on these sectors and what they actually mean they show you where you are exactly in a specific sector and even more they show you where the opponent is so let's have a look at the top bar the top sector times we usually marked by a white arrow so right now we just started the first sector because you see that this white arrow is keep growing and this is exactly your position in that sector now the opponent is also there but with a darker arrow and the opponent is always a dark arrow so if we are on a sector that red then the opponent will be dark red will be marked by a dark red if you go into the next, se next sector which is a green sector the opponent is a dark green arrow so there we can we can see and we sort of can have a, a very good understanding of uh, how close or far away we are from the opponent so here I can clearly see that I'm further away from P3 than P5 to me because the distance is just different here we have a very small distance between me and op the opponent me and Diego but here compared to P3 the distance is far larger and it, you can also see it by number so this 10 number means that we are 10 seconds away from P3 and 4.8 seconds away from P5 so it's very easy you don't have to look at the number if you just have a quick glance on these arrows you have a very good understanding whether you are close enough or far away from your opponent whether it's the opponent ahead of you or behind you right so maybe the next thing we should look at is is the info box okay so the info box what it does is it shows you the last lap times so all the lap times that we can see here is the opponent lap time 3.59 3 is the, op the lap time of p3 3.58 is the lap time for us and so on and what is more interesting is this green number here and here. So what we see here, what we were discussing before, that we see all the differences in sector times, 
but often it's not obvious at the end of the lap whether you were faster or slower. So this is a sort of a summary of your last lap time and it shows you the sort of the momentum or the progress you have. So in this example I what I can see is I was faster by by 1.3 second compared to P3 in the last lap and I get closer to him because we have arrows pointing inwards. So the arrows are here and here. And I was also faster than P5 by 6.3 second and the arrows are pointing outwards because if you think about it you're getting away from the guy behind if you do faster lap time and if you do faster lap time than the guy ahead of you you're getting closer so the arrow is always showing whether you get closer to a car or you get further from a car and the arrows could be uh, marked by a green number or a red number depends whether it's good or bad for you so if you wait a little bit we are going to see something at the end of the lap the summary the last lap statistics is going to be uh, is going to update so we can see how it looks because we have a, s a small animation as well so it sort of attracts your attention when you finish your lap and it, it sort of pulls there something that that you need to look at because it's a summary that you might need to be aware of. So let's wait until we finishing the lap. And as long as both of us finish the lap, which is right now, so we can see there's a new new lap. Here is a summary. And you see there is a pulsating uh, arrows showing that this value just got updated. Have a look at it. So we were 1.4 second faster again. And for the guy behind us, we were again faster by a large amount in this example. And again, P5, who is behind us, we increased the distance. And the guy ahead of us, we make, made the distance smaller, so we got closer to the car. And they, they are both a good number, so we mark it as green. And that really is what you need. When you just have a look at this overlay, and just a matter of a split second, you will have a very good understanding about your position of the track, about the distance between your opponents, about how you performed in the last lap, and about whether you can improve in any sectors or need improvement. So I really really like the design because I think, I think it's very neat and again it gives you all the information you need in a split second if you just have a look at it. And basically that's all the parts of the overlay, so in the next chapter we're gonna have a look at the different settings you can do. So let's have a look at the different settings of this overlay. Let's go into the head-to-head -head page and again it's very similar to all the other overlays it's basically the same you can play with the opacity of the overlay you can increase the width of it or decrease it you can scale it up and down it really depends on uh, what you need. Uh, but let's go to the more interesting part, the settings. So there are some couple of settings I want to go through. The very first is the title. You can turn on and off the title. Then we have the last lap summary that we talked about. It shows you the la last lap time and the data of it. You can also choose not to show it in case you don't want to. Let's turn it back on. And then there are a couple of options here that is very important. The first option is show opponent strategy. It sounds complicated but it's it's very simple. It tells you what you want to see to show ahead of you or behind you. So right now we see P- minus and P- plus in practice. This means whatever position I am in the practice, let's say I'm P4 like you see in the preview, I want to see P3 ahead of me and P4 behind me. So that's why that's what we see right here. But if we choose to change that, there are a couple of options. There are P1, which means we will only see P1 ahead of us. You can also choose to only see P minus one or P plus one. So we are at the moment in the race demo page, so we should change this part in order to see any changes. So in race, right now, as you can see, it's P minus one and P plus one. That's what we see here. But if I change this to P1, then we're gonna see P1, 
and all the different sector times and all the different values compared to P1. But obviously I think the most obvious choice is P-1 and P-1 because you want to know what you need to do to beat the guy ahead of you and to get away from the guy behind you. Now there is also an option to only show P-1 so if you want this OLED to be a bit more smaller you could probably save some space with it. And then P-1 obviously if you want to see only the guy behind you. And again you can decide what you want to see in the race or what you want to see in practice and the next thing is what we need to talk is driver sector times so the driver sector times is your sector times so what we see here all the comparison is set to the latest that means whenever you post a sector time whenever you finish a sector it's going to compare that sector time and you can choose this to be either latest or the personal best. If you choose the personal best, then what it's going to do is it's going to collect all of your best sector times. So best of first sector time, best of second sector time, best of third sector time. And it's going to show you only those and it's going to compare those sector times to your opponent. I personally like the latest always because I like to see what I just did. But at least you know you have this choice. The same goes to the opponent sector times. You can choose to see the personal best of your opponent. So you always see what, what were the best sector times your opponent did. And then you can compare to your later sector times if you want. Or maybe you compare the opponent best sector times to your best sector times. And so you can have a good understanding about what both of you on the best possible lap could do on a race. And yeah, that's basically it. So you have an option to change these in race, in practice, and the overlay will accordingly show you the different sector times. Yeah, that's it. So that's all you need to know about this overlay. And please, if you have any opinions, any improvement ideas or questions, please go and ask in the comment sections below. If you want to use the applications, you can anytime download it by clicking on the discord link again in the description below please if you have any ideas you can also come on discord and we have a suggestion channel where we can where you can share your ideas we are open to all suggestions and we are really really interested in building this together with you because the more people we have the better ideas there will be and we already have a tons of them and we really love it and I really suggest you to join the Discord, share your ideas or just join there and download the app because there is a download link you can find there. So again, if you like this video, please hit the like button. It really helps to spread this video to all the other sim racer fans, maybe all the other people who play with iRacing so that they have a chance to find the app, download it and even use it. And if you want to get more notifications, about the new features we develop please subscribe hit the subscribe button somewhere below there and yeah see you guys later ciao ciao